Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new Disney Heroes Battle Mode video. A few of you are asking what guild I'm in. Here it is, I'm in Phantom Menace, just for all of you asking. But yeah, I wanted to kind of talk about the next part of the update. Update, 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 update 1.13.2 is what I want to talk about in this video. Before I get into that, I am going to do my fan art favourites guys. And then we can talk about this. So, um, uh, okay, we, we had our Kermits. I want to go back a little bit because I do sometimes miss some. So, let's see what we got. Drafty Josh, the movie. Oh, yes. Look, we've got Roblox, we've got The Incredibles, we've got The Stranger Things from the game I played. Um, I need to do some more Roblox videos, guys. But. This is what I need to do. Some more Roblox videos. What have we got? That's, I absolutely love that fan art. That drawing's phenomenal. The King. Yeah, boys. Let, let Josh know that in his tier rank video, he accidentally done a mistake on the team comment suggestion. That was a while ago, that was. What have we got here? I changed the format, I do it now because you guys preferred it to be simpler because it doesn't take you out of the flow as much. Oh yeah, someone drew Starlight. Oh, that is, that's incredible. Anyway, let's get into the video, guys. So, right, so we've, okay, so some of this is a little bit wishy-washy, you could say, but welcome to Disney Heroes Battle Mode. Update, blah, blah, blah. This releases features updates to mods on some servers as well as hero rotations in the shop so yes this was three days ago and yes i'm a little bit late to cover this but mods on server one can go up to plus seven which is going to be ridiculous stacks now ridiculous damage kind of a bit of ridiculous everything guys to be honest with you um and then we've got then the same for service 2 to 15 18 19 20 etc 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 there isn't too much you really need to worry about there then we've got new hero location so this is the one i want to talk about more so heroes will not appear in shops until they are refreshed on november the first so that would be in my time that would be november around 9 pm all the new characters would come in or if you refresh them on november more would come in um servers 1 to 12 update so the level oh god yeah, i cannot keep up with that the level caps increased again Heroes can now promote to Red 2. Chapter 23 is now available. So I've got a lot of chapters to catch up on. But I would imagine that those chapters would be exclusive to just um, actually having the... To, to level 145 or level 140, etc. So, starting from November the 1st, the signing character is going to be Captain Hook, which we all knew anyway. So there isn't anything too new about that. Um, Yasma will be available in the VIP crate, so I tend to ignore that, tend to not really care about that, but we have got Huey, Dewey and Louie in the guild crate, so I'm going to do another big 10,000 guild crate opening video on that. So, so this is what annoys me, and obviously they have stats in the game, so they know what people have got leveled up, they know what characters don't need to be in shops. So, if we look at it, Mickey Mouse replacing Robin Hood is dumb and it's a stupid move by Per Blue, but, but it's because they know everybody already has Mickey Mouse on six stars. Moraida will replace Tia, same again. And they know that everybody in the game has a lot of creep shop shards, so putting Moraida in there is another waste of a character swap. Then Hercules will replace Goofy, Fair enough, I guess. I can start to get Hercules shards. Ah, oh, okay, that's bad because Animal was replacing Bo Peep, and I never, I never got enough to level her up. But that could mean that Bo Peep's gonna go somewhere else. Miss Piggy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna upgrade Miss Piggy in the guild shop now. I can just keep, I can just keep getting Animal shards in the high shop. So uh, although Animal is replacing Bo Peep, I'm still leveling up Animal. Why couldn't they have put one of these characters in one of the good shops? Because I don't really like the house mode. So that is a little bit annoying. 
um, server 13 team level yeah so then it goes through all the other servers guys and I'm not gonna go through all of these because it just wouldn't be worthwhile let's see yeah so mega vault yeah Yeah, they haven't done anything with Jasmine. I think they forgot that they put that character into the game. I I wouldn't put it by him. Yeah, I, I wish that was the case again. That they'd only add one diamond crate hero. I sell plasma to afford this game. Oh, that's incredible. I don't think they have slowed the updates down. We're still getting like one to two a month. <laughs> that is true. Um, it is naughty when they do that because people use all of their diamonds, all of their stamina when the cap's there and then they open the cap up and you don't get all that XP. So uh, that is a little bit naughty there. Um, Jeez, the server that that server is only 65 days old, and they've already increased the cap to 90. When I was first playing the game, um, it makes me sad to talk about this because this was when the game was at its peak, when it first came out before they got greedy. Yeah, this is uh, a bit weird. But I'm hoping they'll add Bo Peep to the Elite stages now, guys. So that's kind of my only hope now, which they probably will because um, they tend not to make too many Diamond Crate exclusives. But with that being said, guys, I always have to reiterate and say it is per blue. Um, I always have to kind of say that because to be honest with you, it doesn't matter, does it? They're, they're just going to mug us all off. So she's there. I, I got I got quite high up on her. So I'm going to save some diamonds. Just in case they ever do any deals with her. So I can kind of keep her going a little bit. Keep her in tip top shape guys. Now I can run for a few of these. Oh we've got boosts on the. Um, on the main cats I use as well. So I do like the quick fire on this. It just makes life so much easier because it was always just a bit pointless to play through these when you when your team was so leveled like you know they, they could even just do it with just skipping you automatically through battles depending on what level you're on because there isn't any point of playing these or even watching or even looking at the game when you go through these levels because they're so easy so it's just one of those things which is a little bit uh, let's go for that quick fight So you can just see how easy it is to just push through all of this now. Lovely. And then it goes for the same when you go into the boss battles now. How nice and easy and the flow is. Obviously depending on what guild you're in. But it's important that you do get rid of bosses. Help your guilds out guys. Try and go um, try and go as far as you can. Well Miguel's a good one to get there actually. So just do a little bit every day. Keep everybody happy. Because I've been quite bad with the guild stuff um, last week. So I'm going to try and pick it up this week. And get at least, you know, three surge battles done a day. The normal stuff, really. I can normally do about three surge battles. I'm pretty sure I worked out. I did not mean to go into that. Because obviously when you do these, you get given... Um, you also get given more energy to go back and do the other mode so it's kind of an endless click you go through here you win it you get energy and it's just an endless endless spam through but like i said it's just easy really like there's no need to not do this i think i've done this in about two minutes and i've already killed 
you know, like six bosses. And obviously, quick fight is based on your power level. So um, you want to keep leveling up the cats that you're using, because then that's going to allow you to quick fight more. So I'm on a million here already. Then I've got 95 in here, so I can go back and quick fight through all of this. Then it's all just, just quickly getting the sequence of clicking and tapping and going through as quickly and efficiently as possible to keep getting everything that you need guys so you can see this here look how easy this is like that just easy quick fight quick fight quick fight get all your stats up get everything up and ready to go bang again easy Cool, that's just what I basically want to show you guys, but yeah, I've covered the patch notes for you guys. Let me know what you think of the patch notes. Are you excited about it? Um, yeah, let me know what you think, guys, because I am quite excited about the the swap in the shops. I'm a little bit annoyed that they're taking Bo Peep out, but um, there's the only one I'm kind of happy for is that animals coming in now so I can get him leveled up a little bit. And uh, I can't even remember what I said, but they're all bringing Hercules into the arena shop so I can get Hercules leveled up a little bit as well. So all in all, guys, it's going to be pretty useful just to wait and see what we can get towards the end. But anyway guys, I will see you all in the next video. Smash that like button, smash that join button guys, get the exclusive emblem next to your name and I will see you all in the next one.